This video is sponsored by NordVPN, but more on that later. In the 19th century, Ishmael Pasha put Egypt into tens of millions of pounds of debt. This was thanks to him funding the construction of the Suez Canal, irrigation projects, railways, and a war with Ethiopia, as well as a lot more. The debt was so bad that, to make sure that it was repaid, he had to allow the French and British into his administration and cover over Egypt's finances. This angered the Egyptian population and his ministers, so Ishmael expelled the foreigners. But for doing this, the European powers began to put pressure on the Ottoman Sultan, who still had the authority to recognize the rulers of Egypt, and they deposed him in 1879. But his son and successor Tufik was weak-willed and, following his advisers, tried to ban locals from the military academy. This created further problems as the officers were largely non-Arabs, like Turks, Albanians and Circassians. But one of the few local colonels, Armoud Arabi, led his soldiers in protest and became a popular figure for nationalism. And Tufik accepted his demands for an elected government, and Urabi and his Egyptian allies eventually took over the running of the country. The British and the French, however, backed Tufik in reasserting his authority in order to reintroduce their financial policies and get their debt paid back, so they sent ships to Alexandria. Urabi began to fortify the city, and riots broke out and 50 Christians were killed, sparking international outrage. As the French were conquering Tunisia in 1882, the British alone sent an ultimatum demanding Urabi stop fortifying the city. But this was ignored, so in July the British bombarded Alexandria, but had to wait two days for the fires to stop before marines could land. Once order had been restored and the looting subsided, Tufik declared Urabi a traitor, and the British began shipping in reinforcements. The Egyptian defences en route to Cairo, however, were too strong, so in mid-August the British moved troops through the Suez Canal and captured Ismailia within a few days with little opposition. From there they marched on Kassassin, where a much larger Egyptian force met them. But under heavy fire and taking many casualties, the British cavalry charged and smashed through the Egyptian lines. Rabi had already started mobilisation, and deployed his forces at Tel El Kabir, preparing for the British advance on Cairo. But the British marched on the entrenched Egyptian positions on night marches, catching the poorly trained new recruits somewhat off guard. As they stormed the defences, the British lost only 50 men, but killed close to 1,500. The broken Egyptians retreated, pursued by cavalry to Cairo, which was undefended and Urabi surrendered in September. Tufik was restored to power, Urabi was exiled, and the British kept troops in Egypt, occupying it until their debt had been repaid and interests met. But this didn't occur for a long time. Britain began investing in the region, and Egypt essentially became part of the British Empire. However, to the south, the Sudanese had risen up in the Mardist Wars, and Britain quickly dispatched troops south to defeat them, and Sudan was put under joint Anglo-Egyptian administration. This history lesson was brought to you by NordVPN. Now, for those of you who don't know, a VPN protects you online, and if, like me, you spend a lot of time moving about, this is essential. This is because I often connect to insecure networks at airports or cafes while on the go. So by using a VPN, your internet activity won't be traceable and you won't be a sitting duck for hackers. Plus, as you can connect to any network in the world, all travellers and expats can get beyond the restrictions applied to your internet usage where you are. And I have used this feature to take advantage of educational websites abroad and much more to help me gather information. And this was a real lifesaver for me when I lived in China. Well, you can now get 75% off getting one if you follow the link here and in the description and use the promo code JABSY. So your Wi-Fi will be secured at just €2.62 a month and those who sign up using the promo code will also get one free month. Plus, there is a money-back guarantee, so you really have very little risk in trying it out. So, if you sign up at the link below, you will not only be supporting this channel, but will save on securing your internet usage today, plus you might also be able to learn even more about your favourite history topics.